Okay, I have a full battery and I got all these lights. So I'm finna just tell you guys my taxi cab stories. I got three stories about ditching cabs. Well, that's the main reason I wanted to share this story because I used to be a chronic cab ditcher, okay? I used to go take cabs and not pay because of various reasons, but there's three stories in particular. Well, no, two where I did pay, one where I didn't, and I think I'm going to tell it in, I'll tell you the most recent one first. So last week, I took a cab. It was a very short ride. It was literally like a $6 ride. Very cheap. Okay? And it was less than a $6 ride actually. Okay? It was literally like one of those, I'm way too lazy to walk right now. It was dark and cold so I'm just going to take a taxi even though I live right around the corner. So I told this story on Snapchat. Basically what happened was I went to the nail salon. I got my nails done and I didn't want to walk home so I took a cab. First of all. There was a language barrier. Let me just put that out there from now. There was a language barrier. Obviously not on my end because I speak English. So, there was a language barrier. I am not, I don't know what the hell language is this motherfucker's first language, but it was not English. So when I told him my address, he repeated it back to me. Well, I thought he repeated it back to me. And so, I confirmed with him and I repeated it again. I said it again. And he said, okay, okay. He's driving to my address from the nail salon and he's repeating the address back to me. He asked me again, so I reconfirm. I say my address. I obviously am not going to say my address on here. So I say my address again and he said, okay, okay, okay. He pulls up to, I'm looking out the windows and I'm just like, oh, this doesn't look like my like it's not looking too familiar like you know what I mean and so he pulls up I see the number of my address outside and it's a building but I don't see my building I don't see my personal building matching the number so I'm just like nigga I said blah 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 I said this address and the man was like this is what you told me and I said no it's not use your GPS like what are you talking about obviously I know where he's like you don't know where you live I'm like don't piss me off okay do not piss me off because I told him three times my address so he pulls up to this address and is expecting me to yell the car I'm like I'm not getting out the car like this is not where I live and so he I tell him the correct address one more time so this is four times now that I'm telling him the right address and he pull he reverses or whatever makes a u-turn and goes um to the or a three-point turn sorry and goes proceeds to drive to my address but as he's driving to my address there's a stop sign I'm like turn off the meter he doesn't turn off the meter okay I'm not gonna argue because like I always just want to result to spraying motherfuckers with mace like I just always want to mace somebody so I just had to just keep myself calm because I'm just like why aren't you listening to me so he now he knows where my now he knows what address I live at okay he knows what address we're going to so he's driving there or whatever and he pulls up to my address and the meter says like 580 two or some dumb shit like that like some random number okay it was very very cheap and you he was supposed to turn off the meter because he drove first of all if a taxi driver drives to the wrong address they're supposed to or if they if they do something wrong in the on the ride you're not supposed to pay for the ride if they forget to turn the meter on your ride is free that's happened to me before um just various things and it's, there's a list of things on the back of the cab seat that say what charges are for what and blah 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 and your rights as a passenger so I know because I've taken taxis like I've been taking taxis and Ubers and all that so I know my rights as a passenger that's why I asked him to turn the meter off when he didn't like it was whatever like I wasn't gonna argue with him I just wanted to go home I was tired it was late I'm looking for the money in my wallet and my purse 
and because it was so cheap I just wanted to pay him I had like three toonies on me and I just wanted to pay that one you drove to the wrong address so that means no tip two you want to argue with me so that also means no tip and three you just a non listening motherfucker so you still ain't getting no tip like that's just three strikes you're out even one strike he would not got a tip he pulls up to my my spot or whatever I get the coins out of my purse and I hand him the three coins so because the ride was like 580 something or five it was in the five dollar range and I paid him the three two knees I hear him he start he's mumbling stuff and I hear him say the word bitch I'm not drunk I'm not high I know I'm not tripping I know this man just called me a bitch and I said what did you just say can you repeat that please and the man said oh no no I'm not talking to you who the fuck else is in the cab who the fuck else is here and you is not on the phone so who is you talking to because I'm pretty sure the only other person here is me unless you is crazy and you shouldn't be employed driving no cab if you was crazy so the man called me a bitch under his breath okay and of course like I just stated I stay wanting to mace motherfucker like I just want to pepper spray you to pepper spray you I don't even like sometimes I don't even have a reason you just look at me wrong and I want to mace your ass but the Lord said no he said no he said Sabrina mm. he said Bo since that's what you like to be called Bo you don't need to do all that and so I kept my composure and I said watch your fucking mouth watch your lip and I slammed his taxi door and I said that is why you ain't getting no motherfucking tip because you ain't deserve it and that is story number one okay that is story number one I proceed I went into my house and I cooled off I wasn't gonna get too mad at this taxi because obviously he know Lord forgive them for they know not what they do he didn't know any better and y'all know, like, why is it that the people that want to test me are always driving cars? I just need to get my own car so that people aren't testing me, but then I'm just going to have road rage because, anyway. The second story is about the time the taxi driver tried to kidnap my ass, okay? And I kid you not, <sighs> basically, what happened was, this is last New Year's, I was going out with my cousin, and like my plans from the jump were to not go to the club I said I want to stay I want something very intimate I just want to be inside I don't I want to be like at a house party kind of thing I don't want to go to the club I don't want to be around a big crowd of people that I don't know I want to keep it real intimate at home with my my bae like you know I just want to do something quiet of course my cousin begged me to come out that's a whole other story in itself she begged me to come out I, I, I broke down I said okay fine but I still didn't want to go we get to the train station because we were gonna the go is the go train is free on New Year's okay it's free you can ride that bitch all damn night it's free and it's, it runs really late so we were gonna take the go down but we missed our train and the next train wasn't coming until about 11 50 I think and that meant that we were gonna be on the train when New Year's happened which we didn't want to happen so we said fuck it let's call the cab flat rate to downtown we didn't have oh I didn't have Uber at the time we didn't have Uber at the time so I didn't know about Uber at the time but we're going from Ajax so we're gonna pay about 80 to 100 dollars for this cab a flat rate of course and so we're in the cab or whatever and in the cab I, I changed my mind and I said I asked the cabbie to drop me off in Scarborough because that's off the highway I'm like and he's like no no one stop one stop blah 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 so I'm just like if I'm paying for this cab why are you telling me no you can't drive me somewhere like never where they do that at so he's refusing to drop me off in Scarborough uh, which is on the way to downtown and so as we arrive downtown, I tell my cousin and her boyfriend, we're not paying for this cab. We're going to ditch the cab. This is literally the beginning of this year. So uh, my cab ditching days, I thought they were over. But for some reason, they uh, were not over. 
Uh, I thought they ended the year before, but that's not the case. I to her. I text her actually, and I and she texts her boyfriend and says, "Okay, Bouge said we're not paying for this cab, so just get out and walk to the venue." I get out the cab. They get out the cab. The cab driver's expecting his money, and I tried to walk to another cab to get in the cab because I still don't want to go to the club. I'm basically outside of the club, but I want to take a cab back to Scarborough so that I can be with my boyfriend. I hop into another cab. This time it's a Beck taxi, and they are kind of standing outside of the other cab. Kind of, They're like scared that they're going to get arrested and all this. So I'm like, are you guys crazy? The minute you guys go into the club, which there was no line for, the minute you guys go into the club, you guys are going to disappear into the atmosphere. Nobody, they're not going to be able to identify you, nothing. Like, the police are not coming for you. It's New Year's. They're busy. So they were scared or whatever. So I believe they ended up paying for the cab. Not my business because I told their asses not to pay for the cab. You don't have to pay for the fucking cab. Especially because when I asked the cab driver to drive me somewhere, he refused. So that was my main reason for not paying. Um, but I think they ended up paying and they were pissed at me that they had to pay for the cab. But I was just like, I didn't pay for my fucking cab. Like, I didn't pay. Why y'all mad at me? I told you guys not to pay. Like, you know what I mean? That's a whole other story in itself. So they were arguing with the cab driver. I got to another cab. But then the cab driver came over to that cab and told the cab driver that he, that I didn't pay for his cab. And so that cab driver basically told me, get the get on girl get your ass out my cab move keep pushing so i was like are you kidding me and i got out the cab whatever hopped into another cab but this time it was an airport taxi okay so i explained to the taxi driver i have money it's not an issue for me to pay for the cab but this is what happened with the other cab he refused to drop me off where i asked him to and that's why i never paid him and he said i don't care about that stuff that's between y'all two i will drive you wherever you need to go he didn't have a debit machine in his taxi so we needed to stop at the bank so that i could withdraw the money from my credit card the only issue was that when we stopped at the bank i couldn't withdraw the money so I didn't want him to think that I didn't have the money. So what I did was I called my credit card company and I let him hear my balance. Or not my balance, my uh, available credit limit. I let him hear the credit limit or whatever. And he so he knows that I have the money in the account. It w I was just having a problem with drawing it from the machine. And he didn't have a machine in his cab. So then he was trying to tell me that his friend got a square reader, which I have one of those. And for me to give him the credit card number, I said, no, bitch. Who give who my credit card number? I don't know your friend. I'm not in his taxi number one. Number two, I'm not about to give nobody my credit card number plus the, CCV, the CVV number on the back. No, it's not going down like that. I ain't giving nobody my number. Because I couldn't take out the money or whatever. And I was trying to figure out, and I didn't want to give him the credit card number. Because y'all know people be doing fraud and stuff. And I'm not here for that. Like... I'm not down with the shits, okay? I'm not about to get frauded. So, the cab driver is now refusing to let me out of his cab. He, this was the weirdest cab I've ever been in because the doors locked. It's like a the back of a police car. Like the doors locked on the inside, and like you couldn't, like I couldn't get out. I could not unlock the cab to come out the fucking cab. So again, I was ready to mace somebody ass. I wanted to pepper spray him, okay? He's driving around with me around Scarborough in the back of this cab, refusing to let me out. It's New Year's. He's trying to kick me out of the key. He said, if, I do, if I'm not going to pay, then I need to get out of the cab. But I was wearing clothes, thinking I'm Cardi B, butt-ass naked on New Year's, cold as a motherfucker. So, uh... Like, no, I'm not getting out of your cab. I'm not about to freeze and stand up here on the street side for what? No, I'm not doing it. So he refuses to let me out the cab. He locks the cab door and is driving around Scarborough like a madman. Like, I'm literally kidnapped in this car right now. Like, he's not going to let me out unless I either pay or I freaking get out. I'm going through options in my head and I'm like, I literally have no options right now. Let me call my former sugar daddy and see what his ass at on New Year's. Or the man that I was conning out all the money. Anyway, I still haven't told you guys that story. The story's coming, don't worry. Um, I call him and I'm just like, I need your help, blah, blah, blah. He's just like, okay, okay, uh, I'm here. 
come, I'll give you the money. I said, okay. I didn't have to say nothing else. I didn't have to say nothing else. And so I, we pulled up to like, I don't know if it was a church. It was like a venue. We pulled up to a venue. He met me outside. He gave me the money to give to the cab driver. Uh, I gave the cab driver, he gave me, I think, $150. I gave the cab driver $80 of that money, okay? I asked the cab driver to drop me off at a building close to Markham and Eglinton, okay? And um, at the same time, of course, I called my baby shooter to the rescue. I said, I messaged shooter and I said, this cab driver has me in this cab as a hostage. I cannot deal. Please be outside in this amount of time i will be there soon but the cab driver i don't know i don't know if he caught the play but he refused to drive he's like i'm not dropping you off at that location i'll drop you off in here at legit at the corner of markham eggington which was not where i needed to be and i was wearing six inch heels yet again i was wearing the heels from the airport story and i wasn't trying to walk up the hill to go to the building so I'm like to the cab driver, like, what do you mean you can't drop me off? Like, I paid you. I don't understand what the issue is. Cab driver always want to argue with my ass. Is it me? Is something wrong with me? Anyway. Taxi drivers, fucking ride share. Drivers. Yeah, like, everybody hate my Air ass. Airport, airport Air security. Bruh. Bruh. I just need to just have my own car, my own plane. I'm supposed to be rich. That's only uh, that's the only thing that makes that makes sense. I'm supposed to have my own yacht, my own plane, and my own car. And that way I won't have to deal with nobody. Anyway, I say, okay, I text Shooter again, Shooter and his friend Art, and I'm just like, yo, he's not gonna pull up to the building. Um come to Mark McEgginton, I'll be there in like ten minutes. So the building is like I'm ten minutes away from Marco and Eglinton, but I'm in a car, so I'm obviously gonna get there faster than these two bozos. So they're coming from um, up the road, which if you're walking, it's about 10 minutes, okay? Anyway, we pull up to the thing. My shoes were off yet again. I always take my shoes off in the cab. So if I'm like, you know, drinking and stuff, like I take my shoes off. So I took my shoes off purposely because I wanted to stall. If they weren't there on time which of course these two were not there on time so I took my shoes off before we got to Markham and Eglinton and then when we got to Markham and Eglinton I was putting my shoes he pulled up on and he was posted at the corner on the uh, like on the sidewalk for me to hop out the cab quick so he could just keep driving but I had to put my shoes back on so I put my shoes on I was putting my shoes on slow. They had laces and stuff, so I'm there trying to tie them real slow so that I had enough time for the boys to get there to beat this cab driver's ass and rob his ass, okay? I wanted them to take back the $80 that I had paid to him because why are you refusing to drop my ass off where I need to be on New Year's, number one? For the second time. For the second time. And you know this. You know that the first driver refused to drop my ass off. Now you doing the same motherfucking thing? When I'm paying? I don't understand. Basically, I open the cab door and I see the skinny little guy sprinting down. Legit sprinting down. Sprinting down the street. And it wasn't Shooter. It was Art. He's sprinting down the street. Sprinting down the street. I couldn't he, run at the time. Oh, yeah. So they don't know that story, so whatever. So my boyfriend is basically handicapped. So basically, Art's sprinting down the street, sprinting down the street. He gets, he pulls up on the cab driver's side. And the cab driver's window's a little bit down, but not down far enough where he can get draped the fuck out the window. So Art tries to open the door. He can't open the door. My door is still open. The taxi driver didn't even realize what was going on. But by the time Shooter got there, and I was actually coming out the cab and they had my bag and both my shoes on. Shooter tried to hold the door open and he was going to hop in the damn cab and freaking fight the man while he's the man is driving. I don't know what is wrong with Shooter sometimes, but like, I appreciate... Rambo. I appreciate the crazy. But sometimes I'm just like, what do you think? Like, I don't think he's thinking when this is going down. He's just action packed. He's hyper vigilant. Like, he's just doing what he do. So... Um, Shooter tries the thing. He ends up hurting his hand. The cab driver speeds off with his door open and the door slams. It was kind of just like, it was kind of like when you steal a car in Grand Theft Auto. 
and you drive off with the doors open and they just close by themselves because you're driving so far fast basically that's what happened the cab driver sped off so that's story number two the cab driver tried to kidnap my ass and I called for help yet again my baby always got my back of course we never got my money back and did I, I think I called in, I think I filed a complaint to, uh, against that taxi driver. I never followed up with it though and I could really care less. Anyway, the kicker now, the kicker, story number three, my third taxi story where I actually didn't pay when I was on my ditching streak. And every time I was like, let's ditch, let's ditch, like let's ditch the cab. Like, I don't know. I thought it was. It's a, it's a Malvern thing. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Malvern people just don't. Look who we are. We're like in the forest. We're up yeah, there. like it's like <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna tell y'all the third story where I actually did ditch the cab and we could have bands on us, but we're not paying this guy. <laughs> you need a pink Lambo. Yeah, I can't more. Of course my life is a freaking movie like this only happens to me like I need you guys to tell me in the comments if you guys have ever ditched a cab before and what the fuck happened because this is what happened to me so it was a very cold night I was dressed like a thought because when me and hey Paris go party that's how we dress we dress in minimal clothing and high ass heels because I don't know I guess we are just pretty women so Usually when I go out, whoever I'm, whoever's house I'm pre-drinking at, because pre-drink never happens at my house, whoever house we're drinking at, that's the house I end up sleeping at because it's just so much easier to sleep somewhere when you're drinking rather than to go all the way home after the fact, especially because everybody's going to split the cab fare and blah, 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 blah. So this night, though, I decided not to sleep at her house because... The downside of sleeping out is the fact that tomorrow when you're hungover as shit, you're going to have to take the bus home or the cab home. And it's just traveling when you're that nauseous and traveling after a long night of partying or just waking up somewhere that's not home after a long night of partying is really, really annoying. And it's just struggle. It's struggle, but so I decided that for once I'm not sleeping at Paris's house and I'm going to go home I don't know why I decided to do this so I said okay let me call my cab I'm gonna hop in the cab I'm gonna take my little ass home cab drivers are supposed to take the shortest route okay if you guys don't know nothing about cabs right you y'all is getting some information session about cabs things you might not have known before the cab driver is supposed to take the shortest route the cab driver knew I was drunk the cab driver knew I was traveling alone the cab driver knew what the fuck he was doing when he didn't take the shortest route. Whenever I take a cab from Paris's house, it is only, only maximum $17, okay? Because he's supposed to take his little ass to Morningside and then drive on Morningside. And that's the fastest way for, for him to take me home and at a reasonable price. But for some reason, he decided to turn and go the opposite way and drive up Eglinton to I don't know where because I honestly don't even know what route he took. I just know it wasn't the route that I usually take. And he's trying to act stupid like he didn't know. Once again, if the taxi driver doesn't know where he's going, you're not supposed to pay. So, like, it's your job as a taxi driver in the city that you're in to know the, the quickest ways, the ins and outs of the streets, the back roads, all that shit. You're supposed to know. So he didn't know and or he was pretending like he didn't know and because he thought I was that drunk he thought he could take advantage of the situation and by the time he pulled up to my house and my cab is a hundred dollars from it was literally like if you were driving a car you could get there in 10 minutes kind of thing so the cab was just way overpriced anyway he took the wrong way the way he wanted to take so that he could stretch out the money on my drunk ass and I caught the play from the beginning so I I, I analyzed the situation I said okay you want to play games okay. okay okay so I played his game I let him drive me the street is a crescent and it's kind of shaped like a capital letter I right so there's two dead ends and two openings on the street so basically the way that you turn onto my street once you um, take a left onto the street and then no a right sorry onto the street and you take an immediate left and then you take 
a rep a right and then another left okay and that's how you get to my house so basically on my side like where my house is on the street that's where the other opening is and then on down oh my god this is so complicated it doesn't matter the point is my house is on the side where you can actually leave and come into the street and then but I was entering my street from the other opening, okay? I don't, do you guys understand that? Anyway, we're basically 14 meters behind my house, okay? So we're at the other side of my street, which is one of the dead ends. And instead of telling him to take the right and then the left, I say drive straight into the dead end. And so we're driving to the dead end. My cab is literally like $30. So I'm like... I'm not paying this like it's only supposed to be 17 so I'm once again putting my shoes on and I'm just like <laughs> I'm late to him you took the long way on purpose like I'm so drunk okay you guys I'm legit piss drunk because when we go party we party hard okay so I'm pissed drunk I'm like you took the wrong way on purpose he can't really hear what I'm saying because I'm definitely slurring my words like my name is motherfucking Kesha okay I'm slizzard so I'm putting my shoes on or whatever, I grab my bag, I make sure that I don't leave nothing in this, like, in the cab because I know my drunk ass about to ditch. It is freezing cold outside, there is ice everywhere, and I'm about to run through a field. I make sure I have my phone, my purse, and any belonging because if I leave them in this cab, I'm either going to A, get caught, or B, I'm not getting them back. So, I make sure I have everything, I slowly open the door. I tell the cab driver, peace, and I leave. I close the door. I said, thanks. My ass tries to take off. The minute I ran, you guys, the minute I ran, I was wearing six-inch heels, and I face-planted. Face motherfucking planted because the field where the park is was covered in ice. I don't know why I thought I could run from this cab driver, but the minute I fell, my brain was like, oh my god, he's going to get out the cab and catch me, oh my god, what am I going to do? But I, I got up as fast as I could and continued to run, and I fell again. And I'm, I look behind me, he's not thing, but I hear his car, so what he did was he did a three-point turn yet again, and uh, was going to go through to the other side where my actual house is. He didn't know which house was mine, but he obviously knew that I have to live on one of the houses on the streets. So which one is it gonna be? So basically, he skirts, he pulls off, he goes around or whatever, and um, I run, I finally get to my backyard. I had messaged my boyfriend and his best friend from before, and I said for them to be home, because I didn't have, no, did I have my key? I had my key, but I had planned to ditch this cab, so I knew I couldn't go through the front door. I pulled up to the back door, and I took off one of my shoes. I don't know why I did this, but I did. I took off one of my shoes, and I'm messaging my boyfriend and his best friend. I'm just like, where are you guys? Like, I need to come inside. I need the back. I told you guys to open the back door. Like, I, my plan was supposed. It was flawless in my head, and it was flawless when I sent it. But for some reason, they wanted to stop at pizza, motherfucking pizza, and eat. Like, why? Why do you guys need to eat? I'll cook you something when I get inside the house. You just need to stop for pizza, pizza. So I got home before they got home. They were closer to the house than I was. Okay? There's no reason that they did not beat me home. They should have beat me home, but they didn't. So I'm standing in the backyard. I walk. Um, the way my backyard was set up was like if I walked through the other side, I can see the other houses in the front. And so I peek around the corner and I see the cab sitting there waiting for my ass to come from around the corner. Like, I don't know why he never just got out of his cab and just like came to look for me in the backyard because there's only so many places I could be right but he stayed in his car late on and I peeked over the corner I seen him and so I had my one shoe off or whatever and because I seen him I was like oh my god what if he just saw me and so I ran back to my backyard my heart's racing I'm pacing I'm like oh my god what the freak am I gonna do why did I do this I'm freaking out because I'm drunk I messaged him I'm like yo where are you guys blah blah blah, blah. so finally they come home 
and they let me inside the house I go up the stairs I look through the people and the cab driver is still sitting there waiting for me to come around the damn corner like no you ain't gonna catch me today sir you ass shouldn't have took the long way on purpose trying to take advantage of my drunk ass like no it's not going down like that and I think he was probably there for about 10 more minutes and then he finally took off like no police cars pulled up after that what were they gonna do knock on every door and say oh excuse me did you take a cab tonight and what and I believe too like usually cabs have like cameras in them but for some reason his did it and I was like I'm getting away with this tonight so that's what happened and I ditched the cab and I don't condone cab ditching you guys I mean when you're young and just like party and have fun it's whatever like you live and you learn I did a lot of crazy stuff when I was like between like 18 to like now I I've been doing some crazy shit okay but like it's all in good fun and I hope you guys like this story time do not go out and ditch the next cab you take just because you feel like you can get away with it you never know how it's going to turn out you might end up in your backyard in the freezing cold snow without a shoe on for what reason I don't know I don't know why I took my shoe off like why would I take my shoe off and I still have a little scar from when I fell on the ice I have a scar on my knee and I also had oh well, I don't see it right now I did have a scar on my wrist I think it's faded a lot but I had a scar on my wrist my hands was cut up my knees was cut up I said this is karma don't be doing stuff y'all don't be doing stuff like me I'm just a mess I just I'm a risk taker that's what I do I take risk gotta get this money gotta take risks hit the highway up with like eight bricks hey <laughs> scare money don't make no money you feel me oh oh my gosh I totally forgot about that the police Paris had called the cab for me from her number, but she said my name. So then the police had called her phone asking for me. Oh, he's, she's like, the police just called me asking for you. And I'm just like, say what now? Say what? Why are they looking for my ass? I don't got no warrants. So for a very long time, she had to uh, call the, the taxi number private because if you call and you owe them money they'd be like would you like to pay this by credit card and you like click and then they call your ass back we wasn't having that so shout out to Paris for uh, not snitching on the kid giving them my phone number or nothing because police was looking for my ass for a crime that I did commit but the Lord forgave me so the taxi company should too and that my friends is the end of that I love you all please subscribe share comment and like and I will see you in my next video which is probably gonna be a tutorial love you